All right, guys, welcome back. In today's question, we have a twin Newton horizontal force that is applying perpendicular to the handle of the socket wrench. We need to determine the magnitude and coordinate uh, direction angles of the moment created by this force about point O. So we have the force 20 Newton that is applying in here. And we need to find the moment of this force about point O. And what we need to figure out, we know that for finding the moment, let's call it MO, we have the cross product of R and F. Our R here would be uh, starting from O and applying at point A. Here on our F will be the twin force. So for starting this, we need to find each of these two components of R and F in a vector form. First, let's start with the R. So we'll have ROA. And for this, we simply need the X, Y, Z components of A. And let's see what we have for A. So from the question, we know uh, this angle is 15 degrees, which means uh, this angle in here is also 15 degrees and from here we can find the coordinates of point A easily so let's see what we have for X component of A so looking at A we'll see that we, uh, we are at the positive side of the X so which is what we have in here and from here we know uh, the, the distance from, from here to here is 200 millimeter which means for finding the component we'll have the sine of 15 degrees would be our i again it will be positive because we are in the positive side of the x uh, for finding the j component uh, we are moving again to the positive direction of y and a is in the positive side of the y and simply again 200 stem cosine of 15 degrees will be j and looking at the z component we are again in the positive side of the z and we have that uh, simply here 75 millimeter k okay. and all of these are in millimeter which means if we want to find them in meter we just have to divide everything by a thousand and if we do that we'll get uh, 0 0.05 or i we'll get 1.19 j and for y we have 75 divided by a thousand which will be 0 0.075 so, so far and this will be in meter so now we have our next step would be finding the f uh, so far finding the angle uh it's it's very simple so from here we have this 15 degrees angle and we have uh this angle here which we need to find and this will be our f and since we have two angles that each side is perpendicular to the other one, uh, these two angles will be similar. So now that we know that the angle is 15 degrees, uh, we're good to go to find the F. And let's find our F. So for finding the uh, X component of F, we'll see that we are in the opposite direction of uh, x axis which means we have a negative f and that would be simply f times cosine of 15 so we'll have f which was 20 times cosine of 15 degrees that would be our i and for j we'll have simply since we are in the positive direction of y it will be positive so we'll have 20 times sine of 15 degrees and since the f is parallel to the xy plane we don't have any z component now that we have this we're good to go uh to find our moment and for that we we'll simply have uh the determinant of r and f i j k and for i uh, so the second row will be our r so we have 0 0.05 for i j will be 0.19 and for k component we'll have 0 0.075 and if we calculate our f minus 20 cosine of 15 would give us uh, minus 19.32 and for j we'll get 5.176 and we didn't have any k component and the rest of this is uh, finding these determinants so for i we'll have uh, 0 times 0 0.19 which is 0 minus 0.75 times 
5.176. That would be our i for j. We know we'll have a negative sign for j and we'll have again 0 minus uh, minus 932 times 0.75. That would be our j and for k I will simply have 176 minus 0.19 times minus 19.32. And that would be our k. And if we calculate this, we'll find our m uh, minus 0.388a. That would be our i. For j, we'll have 1.449. And we'll have four point. So now that we have this, uh, so in the question, if we come back to the question, we need to find the magnitude first, and in the second, the coordinates direction, which means we have to show which angles this moment makes with x, y, z axis. So, oh, let's find the moment before that. So for that, we simply have square root of minus 0.3 EDA squared plus uh, minus 1.449 plus and if we calculate this we'll get 4.27 newton meter uh, that's the magnitude of the moment and for finding the angle we know that for each angle is called um, alpha d the angle that the moment makes with x so for finding the angle we simply have each of these angles so with x we'll have arc cosine of mx over m for beta we'll have arc cosine of my divided by m and for gamma, we'll have same thing, our cosine of mz divided by m. And if we do that for alpha, we'll have our cosine of what we had for x, which was this component minus 0.388 divided by the magnitude, which is 4.27, and this would give us 95.2 and same thing for y we have our cosine of this time we have minus 1.44 divided by the magnitude which is the same and from here we get 110 and the last one we have our cosine of the z component which was 4 divided by 4.27 and from here we we'll get 20.6 so so what we found at the end is let's get back to the question uh, so what we needed to find was the magnitude of the moment about 0.0 and the coordinate direction angles of the moment <laughs>